All right, guys. Back over here at the shop. Got the Del Sol over here. And uh, pulling inside. You got uh, some couplings, and there's the pulley. So hopefully we can start getting this thing completely fitted up. All right, guys. For the first thing I'm going to do, get this new pulley on here. Take the V-belt off. And look at the size difference here. This is a... Uh, Pretty significant. Look at that. That's a big difference. So this is gonna allow us to turn the supercharger up faster. Um, and I'm gonna figure out exactly how much uh, it's gonna turn up. So I'm gonna measure uh, the inside of the sheave <clears throat> to the inside of the sheave on the, on the car and see what the ratio is. Um, all the calculations that I've done back and forth they're all going to be in the descriptions of each one of these videos so uh, you can see all that down below um this one measures out to around 51 millimeters it's a little bit over two inches uh just slightly uh, i just need to measure the car and i just want to see where exactly where we're going to be at so i'm going to get this mounted up but that's a that's a considerable difference there so should be good Alright guys, the nut came off pretty pretty easily. This little DeWalt impact. So now I just gotta get the uh, pulley up over here. Pretty simple. And this does have a keyway in it, so don't lose that key. And uh, the other one should slide right on there. So. There it is. Let's tighten her up. Sweet. I actually hear it running. Listen. Cool. As the inlet and outlet on this thing are a little smaller than two inch. This is a two inch coupling. And you can see it kind of dances on there a little bit. So I went ahead and put a uh, band on here, started tightening it up. And you see that it's brought it in some. And now. It actually does have a little bit of drag to it, so it looks like it will tight up and tighten up on here. So I'm gonna try that. Yeah. So that will tighten up fine. If you get two inch in and out, that should be good. It'll tighten down with a band clamp, but you want to get the higher quality band clamps because there's no way that a regular hose clamp would pull down this tight. So there you go. Okay, so I got a belt that. Uh, part store and this is a 27 and a half we tried to measure it as close as we could and there's just not enough room when this thing tightens up there still won't be enough room to get a coupling on there so we need the compressor to lay back just a little bit more so we can get a coupling to go in there so but it looks like that's gonna work that looks pretty good so you gotta adjust some some holes and stuff and then get that done and then we'll get this bracket spray painted and go pick up another belt all right, guys, got a new belt. The other one was a 700. This is a 725. So the number here on this belt is in millimeters. So 725 millimeters is approximately equal to 28.5. So, and the, the 4PK is just the type of um, sheave that it fits into, which is a standard four rib. Right, we got that belt on. Got uh, one bolt in, the brackets painted and put on. Got this one, air filter here. This is my outlet, and it's super close to this belt. But once it gets tightened down, and then we get our other stuff hooked up, we'll have to like pull it this way a little bit. Um, it's a close fit, but that might work. Another idea that Greg had was make a bracket that went here and lay it down flat, um, then you've got issues trying to, you have to make some other bracket off of the compressor in order to make it move farther and back and forth um, from the pulley. So, so now we're trying to get something figured out here. All right guys, Eddie's working on that top bracket and I am basting a turkey. Now I'm gonna put some uh, fluid in here though. This holds 90 to 100 milliliters they called for 85W90, and all I could find was 80W90, so I'm sure that's going to be fine. Um, get some fluid in here, though, if I keep forgetting about it. 
All right, guys, so here's the top bracket we made. Got the turnbuckle on there, bolt it up. So now if we spin it, stretch it out, back the other way, it pulls it back in. So we can adjust it. All right, guys, I just got this pipe zip tied out of the way of the timing belt. Get the rest of the piping on here, it should be fine. Uh, this is tight now, got all that set up. Bell looks pretty good, and uh, I'm gonna try to crank it and see what it does. Wow. This thing's blowing out some major air, and it's just idling. So I'm working on a piping here. Made a little small piece to go from the two inch up to the two and a half. And I've got a two and a half curve. We're gonna try to work out some piping here. Camera, camera, say hey. This is what I got so far. And uh, just trying to fit a whole bunch of pipes that I had and Greg had and clamps and hoses and everything to try to make this thing work. So maybe I can figure it out. All right, this is what we got so far. It's looking pretty good. I mean, you can tell it's been pieced together, <laughs> but it uh, it's gonna work. So you get the blow off valve on, fuel pressure regulator on and uh, air filter on down there hook the belt back up and then we should be able to test it and see how it does all right there's the blow off valve the old gritty one here so yank it apart and then see what's uh what it does got uh, the belt back on the blow off valves in a little bit of tubing is done. I guess we're about ready to crank it. The only thing left to do is get the air intake on the end down there. And uh, I don't have another hose clamp. I've used up about everything I can use. So um, let's see what happens. Now, engine is warmed up, everything's calmed down. Had a few boost leaks, that's what all the squealing was. So this flows out here all the time, so that supercharger is making boost all the time. But when you go full throttle, it takes away your vacuum to your blow off out. So now, All right, guys, just named this one Super Del Sol. All But I know we're making some because we just blew the intake pipe off. So uh, I need some better hose clamps. Uh, that's like a stock one on there. So try to get back and see if we can render that. But uh, it's got to be making the boost. We'll try it again. Seems like it makes a lot more torque on the very bottom end 
but these Honda engines rev up so high that it doesn't seem to be making very much boost at the very top end. Did you notice a bunch on the bottom? Test driving anymore. I want you to be test driving, mister. Yay. 